Today on Logan Lee Adventures, we take you on a saga through some of the most epic landscapes anyone will ever set sight on of Iceland. We're on a road trip through the country reaching the northeast, so expect a lot of white and snow. But on top of that, there's no other travelers or even just humans but us. So we want to share with you some cascading waterfalls, gigantic fjords, ghost towns lit up in rainbows, all in the land of fire and ice. So cute, look at this rainbow brick road in this town! And then this main street, which is literally the one street of this town, ends with this beautiful pastel blue church, and then you have this awesome house with street art all over it. So there's like a little small cute boardwalk right here that goes all the way around the town. And this is the center. following the rainbow brick road all the way back to my boyfriend
now we're getting to some of my favorite scenic views from Iceland, especially in the northeast where we are at right now. Keep an eye out for these snow cap mountains. I'll show you lots of them in the upcoming drive that we're doing. Welcome to the eastern fjords of Iceland. In our mission to drive around the whole country of Iceland via the ring road that circumnavigate the whole island, we land upon stunning sights like this, where there's nobody else around us. It just feels secluded like we were the first Vikings themselves to have set foot on this land of fire and ice. I think when you are surrounded by such wondrous nature, how the earth has carved out such a place and grew in it over time, my own being gets affected by this outside world. Now, I'm a city boy. I, I grew up in a big metropolis. Skyscrapers were my mountains, and the way subway trains runs, they were like my waterfalls. But here, everything feels so untouched, wholesome, and pure. And it's like for the first time in a very long time, I can just hear myself think and breathe. I mean, look at this place. Just being in the car driving around with Yurun, we are just absolutely speechless staring up at these mountains like how is this real how is this all in one country where are we what is iceland even now we're going to be driving through these mountain passage in the eastern fjords and the eastern parts of iceland and already you can see the fresh snow on top of these mountains. So cool, right? These weren't here yesterday. It was much warmer yesterday. And because the clouds cleared out as well, I guess there was a snowfall early in the morning or last night. Now we can see them. Ooh, so stunning. Also, there are runoffs of the glaciers into waterfalls everywhere. One, there's two. This makes me want to throw it all away and just move out, out here in the middle of the nowhere of Iceland into maybe a little shacky cabin where I have my own fireplace, tons and tons of books with Yurun of course and we'll cuddle up and cozy with some hot chocolate at night after we collect some wood. That is what this is all making me daydream about. can never pronounce Icelandic words. The closest thing I've ever had come to with the Nordic language was living in Stockholm, Sweden after university. But Swedish is a very very diluted Scandinavian language compared to Icelandic, which is considered the purest Viking tongue. Look at the moose. Can you touch it? Yeah. Mm. Mm. So he even has his own hashtag. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> if I 
guys are in the section. Yeah. <laughs> so soft. <laughs> yeah, it's fat. Yeah. Center is so cool. You have everything here. You can touch any buttons. You can push, and literally, you can see different what type of. Literally, it's so cool because these are like the small little tooth of this animal from this skeleton jaw. It is a reindeer jaw that's older than eight years old. Ooh. I love that you can come here and just learn about the wildlife of around Iceland and it's all free too. Just a little nice pit stop out in the wilderness. This is a mink skeleton. Ooh, looks so creepy. That's just my boyfriend, folks. Yeah, that's what I'm doing that time. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, which one is it? Okay. Want some food? No. Don't you eat anything? Here, have my coat. <laughs> it's already eating, I think. It don't care. Oh, goodbye. Oh, duck sheep. Oh, they're passing oh. by us. Oh, okay. We are currently driving to the biggest dam in the whole country. That's the biggest dam in Iceland. And this dam, because usually it's really high up, so this road is a prime example of what driving All the water from the dam. Mm -hmm. uh, so they slowly work it through, um, then they create energy.
Although the nature in Iceland are very accessible, they still remain virtually untouched by human civilization. This country has what is equivalent to all the best hits in one little island in the world. It changes your idea of life near the Arctic Circle. And don't forget, everything that we've done in today's video has all been free. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I'm trying to find out the name of these waterfalls, but the thing is there's so many waterfalls in Iceland that unless it's like the poignant ones, they just don't even have names. They're just waterfalls on the side of highway, which is, this is what it is. I made you stop the car to, so I can see up closer these waterfalls that are just on the side of highway in the middle of nowhere in eastern Iceland. Like this is just blowing my mind. Now we have more action-packed Nordic travels in Iceland coming right at you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, give this video two big thumbs up and leave a comment below and click play on the next adventure.